Okay. And then Tom, you're on um, waiting room duty now. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm speaking, Elsa. <laughs> um, okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Eloisa Melendez. I'm the chair of the Norwalk DTC. And I would like to welcome you all to the 51st Probate District Convention. I will be your temporary chair. Um, and I call this convention to order at 6.33 p.m. <laughs> um, I've appointed Tom Dubin, the chair of the Wilton DTC as the temporary secretary. Before we move forward, we need to elect our permanent chair and secretary for the evening, but we will start with the roll. So, Tom. Great, uh, welcome all. Uh, I'm gonna call the roll, which means I gotta see if I can pronounce your names right. If you would uh, try to keep yourself on mute, but take yourself off mute. Uh, it's alphabetical, so you can anticipate. It's alphabetical uh, by last name, by town, Norwalk and then Wilton, really anticipate. Uh, so let's start that up. Nicole Ayers. I did not hear Nicole. Jennifer Ballier. I'm here. Great. Uh, Ronald Banks. Here. Uh, Ed Camacho. Senator Duff. I'm here. Great. Uh, Nicole Eady. Here. Uh, William Fairbairn. I'm here. Uh, Priscilla Farrell. Max Goldenberg. Here. Joshua Goldstein. Nope. Uh, Jordan Hensley. Here. Uh, Dominique Here. Johnson. Here. Uh, Scott Kimmich. Here. Donna King. Here. Oh, I'm not going to pronounce this <laughs> right. Wait, uh, Louise? Go into the next King? Louise King? Leisha, it's Irish. Leisha. I, I, you know, I knew it was Irish, but that, that, that didn't help. That just told me I was going to be wrong. No worries. I, oh, there's Leisha. I see you. Right. But, but it uh, Naomi like what we can tell. JJ, can you put yourself on mute, please? Here. It's Naomi. Naomi, great. Um, Sherry McCready Brown. Here. Jennifer McMurr. Here. I see Eloisa. Uh, Rosa Murray. Here. Uh, Elsa Peterson Obachowski. Here. Fanny Osario. Here. Great. Pamela Parkington. Here. Chris Perrone. No, Chris. Samuel Pride. No, Samuel. Jody Proc. Here. Uh, Janine Randolph. Excuse me, Tom. I'm here. I was on mute. I'm sorry. Uh, that's Samuel Pride. I see you. Great. Thank you. Uh, Janine Randolph, did we hear you? No, Janine. Okay. Nicole yeah. Ayers also said she's here. She's just in the car. She wrote Nicole, that. Oh, great. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry, Janine Randolph. No. No. Samuel, if you put yourself um, back on mute, once you once you guys have said here, if you try to remute yourself, uh, Diana uh, Reddy. Okay. You, 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 one thing you skipped over my, my name, Jacqueline Jordan Byron, and I'm here. JJ, I think it for some reason it uses the J, so we haven't gotten there yet. I don't think or. Oh yeah, but he's he's already oh he ours. Already? It does, oh, but yeah. yeah. But Jacqueline, I'll tell you, I don't have you on our list of delegates. Oh, okay. Should I? Uh, Louisa, do, do you see otherwise? You're 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 certainly welcome to stick around. I'm JJ, double checking. Yeah, JJ, if you want to be my proxy, you can. Though I support Doug 100, percent but if you want to stay on and be my proxy. <laughs> Um, um, no, that's okay. I'm, I'm actually double doing double duty tonight. I have another meeting going on in the background. Yeah, I actually don't see you on the list, JJ. So actually you can uh, go focus on yeah. the out mission. Thank you. Will do. Thank you I very think, much. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. I, I think we're at Diana, uh, Diana Revelis. I'm here. Yes, great. Uh, Mayor Rilling. I'm here. Lucia Rilling. I thought I saw her, no? How are you? I'm she? here. There she is. Thank you. Uh, Jody Sattler. No Jody. Uh, Jalen Sade. Here. Uh, Julie Sharp. Julie? Nope. Beth Siegelbaum. Here. Uh, Travis Sims. Nope. 
Uh, uh, President? Je He's on. Oh, great. Congressman's with us. All right. Uh, Jenny Stanton. Here. Uh, Doug Stern. Come on, man. I'm you got to be here. I I'm thought here. so. I thought so. Uh, Sandra Stokes. Hi, I'm here. Kevin Tepes. I'm here, Tom, and so is Priscilla Farrell. I saw her uh, picture on the on the. Oh, okay. Uh, All right, we'll we'll take your word on that. We'll check her box. Thank you, uh, Kathleen Tepper. No, Kathleen. Uh, Johnny Weldon. No, I believe Kathleen is here in in the same yeah, one as Scott. She's on she mute. Okay, we'll take that. Thank you, uh, Johnny Weldon. No, Johnny. Uh, proxy for Galen Wells is Greg Burnett. Greg, you with us? Present. Great. Uh, Stuart Wells. Here. Great. Uh, Darius Williams. Present. Thank you. Uh, Darlene Young. Here. And now come the Wilton names, which I can mostly pronounce. Uh, Paul Burnham. I saw Paul, I thought. Paul, you on mute? I thought I saw no, you. Hi. There you are. Thank you. Uh, myself, I'm here. Uh, Cynthia Fair. Here. Great. Uh, John Calamaritas. Here. Uh, Jim Kapustka. Here. Uh, Pamela Clem is not here. Uh, Mark, uh, Allison Mark. Here. Uh, Deb McFadden is not with us. Deb is still recovering from COVID, but she's doing well. Uh, Jeff Miller. Jeff, are you with us? No? Yep. Uh, Elizabeth O'Connell. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Damon Reinard. Here. Uh, Jane Reinard. Here. And Wendy Roseberry. Here. All right. Now I've not been, let me just count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Madam Temporary Chair, we have 48 uh, delegates or proxies present. Uh, so that'll require 25 votes to carry any motions. Thank you. Did someone try to unmute and say something or is that just me? No, I thought uh, Jeff Jeff Miller is here. Tom, oh, is did Jeff you here? Catch that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jeff. Forty nine, but the math still holds. We'll need twenty five to uh, uh, to carry motion. Um, Anyone else that didn't hear their name? Anybody else? Yeah. Thank you, Eloise. No. All right. Great. I'd now like to read the call of the convention. Um, this convention was called for today, May 12th, 2022, by Democratic State Central to begin at 6.30 p.m. Uh, the agenda and notice is, as an elected delegate, you are requested to join this convention for the following purposes, to endorse a candidate for probate district 51, and to transact such other business as may be proper to come before the convention. I give it back to you, Madam Temporary Chair. Thank you so much. Um, here we go. I will now open the floor for nominations of a permanent chair. Please indicate that you have a nomination by unmuting and making a motion. I would like to move for Eloisa Melendez to be made permanent chair for this convention. Thank you, Leisha. Do we have a second for Eloise Melendez? <laughs> I'll yes. second that. Second. Second. I'll second that as well. Okay, lots of seconds. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, all those in favor? Actually, hold on. Are there any other nominations for that? Any other nominations? <clears throat> any other nominations for permanent chair of this convention? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Extensions? Okay, motion carries. Um, thank you for electing me permanent chair of this convention. We will now elect our permanent secretary and manage the rest of the evening's endorsements, endorsement proceedings. Wow, you would think I've done this so many times this week. <laughs> oh God, I did read this in my sleep almost. Um, I will now ask for nominations from the floor to select our permanent secretary. Please indicate- Tom uh, Dubin. Oh, okay. 
Great idea. I second it or third it. Okay. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Okay. Um, are there any other nominations for permanent secretary? Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Okay. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay. Motion passes. We'll continue on. Thank you. Tom Dubin will be our permanent secretary this evening. Thank you all for attending. We're gathered tonight to nominate our candidate for Connecticut's 51st probate district, Norwalk and Wilton. Uh, this convention will follow the rules of the state party followed by the Roberts Rules of Order. Uh, I now open the floor for nominations. Please nominate a candidate by unmuting yourself and speaking. I would like to nominate Douglas Stern for judge probate. As a former at-large councilman, a past city zoning commissioner and a past officer of the Norwalk NAACP and now judge probate, Doug has an impressive resume for this position. Not only is he professional, but he is also honest and transparent. He has the temperament to work well with everyone and he approaches this job from a sincere place, connecting with people both on his staff and during his day-to-day -day job. Yes, this job oversees a lot of disputes, but as Doug describes it as a rich and fulfilling job. When asked what his favorite part is, he said the adoptions and the name changes, especially the transgender name changes, which is very special to be a part of. On a personal note for me, Doug Stern was one of the first people I met with here in District C after I announced I was running for council. He kept an open mind, listened to me, and offered valuable advice from his time running for office. He earned my respect and my friendship that day and has continued to impress me ever since. Doug is serious and fair and can handle the heavy weight of this job, but he is also warm, genuine, and kind-hearted, all qualities that make a wonderful human being, but make an equally impressive judge probate. I am proud and honored to nominate him for judge probate. Thank you, Jen. Do we have a second for the nomination of Doug Stern? I'd, I'd like to make a second if I can. Uh, you know, I, like Eloisa, I've been working off of scripts uh, this entire last week and, and contemplating seconding Doug. I didn't bother because uh, I know Doug. It's, it's, a, it's a different kind of exercise uh, to, to nominate somebody that you know well. Uh, there, there's, there's two things that, that really distinguish Doug. First, first off, his, his competence, his legal professionalism, uh, which, which, is, which is without doubt, but more important. Uh, is the is the kind of person that he is when he deals with people at their most um, at, in very sensitive uh, circumstances. You know, so, somebody in a family has died. Uh, so somebody is going through a, a gender, uh, you know, kind of reaffirmation or affirmation. Uh, there, there's a that there's a bequest that's being that's being disputed. There's an adoption that's that's hung up. Uh, the, these are these are times when somebody needs not just competence, but needs sensitivity. Uh, and Doug brings that. You know, so, so, some of you who know me know that in a different part of my life, I'm chair of Norwalk Hospital. Uh, actually, I saw Harry and Lucia and, and, uh, and Bob there yesterday for a lovely event. And, you know, I was speaking to one of our, one of our people there and, and, and um, talking about how a particular matter was, was before the uh, judge of probate. And this person didn't know that I know Doug and think highly of Doug. Uh, so I was innocently able to ask, well, you know, how, how, does, how does the probate court, um, you know, handle Norwalk Hospital very sensitive matters? And the person was beyond complimentary, uh, talk, talking about how uh, the, the Norwalk probate court standing, standing apart or, or certainly among the, the best probate courts in terms of competence and efficiency, because uh, a lot of these matters, um, you know, need to be, need to be addressed quickly, uh, not just well, but quickly. Uh, so, so that's just a, a wonderful objective test, you know, that, that, that I also, you know, can, can relay. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's strange in some ways that Connecticut elects judges of probate, um, and, and Doug certainly handles his job in a nonpartisan way. But as a DTC chair, I would like to say also, it's wonderful that he shows up all the time. You know, he shows up to, to events when it, when it matters, we have critical mass uh, of, of dignitaries, uh, people to add seriousness to different events. And so I certainly appreciate that. With all that, I'd like to second Doug Stern for a second term as judge of probate. 
Thank you. Senator Duff. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to just take a moment to thank Doug for all his work. I mean, he, he's a, I want to align myself with uh, Jen and with Tom and what they said, but um, Doug was, has always been a worker. Uh, he came to the train stations with me, one of my campaigns uh, over many, many years, you know, you know, sometimes the only person who came at six in the morning or five in the morning or whatever it was. And he was always, always there. So he, he not only um, he works hard, he puts in the time and um He's just, he does a great job. And as Tom said, he's, he's nonpartisan uh, in the office, but when it comes time to show up, uh, Doug shows up and he does the work. And it's a testament to him that he, you know, there's, this has always been a Republican seat and, and testament to him that um, right now, uh, you know, he is a clear uh, hands-on favorite that they have not come after trying to recapture the seat again, because they know that Doug is a very strong candidate and that he's gonna win and that people like him, they know he's doing a good job. And, uh, you know, he's just a very, a very strong candidate. So um, I just want to put that two cents in because I'm just extremely proud of Doug and, and what he's done in the race he ran four years ago and how he's carried himself as a judge. And that's why I'm so excited to work for him again this year to get him reelected. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Duff. Ron Banks? Um, I would like to second. Uh... Judge Stern also, and uh, mine's on a personal level. I got a surprise, and um, I found out uh, in very short notice that I needed to uh, have an appearance and uh, completely caught off guard. I won't go into the details, but really, it affected me in a way that I could have never imagined, never envisioned this would ever be my life. And... Um, I, 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 Judge Stern was obviously the probate judge, but his manner in handling, and someone already mentioned his sensitivity, his real world connection to what it is and what it is like to walk in another person's shoes is something I will carry with me forever. Because without going any further, but just to simply say, I want to echo what everything within me, we chose a good person when we decided to ask Doug to serve in this position. He is not only well qualified, but he also cares about what he's doing. And it is so sincere, it is so direct, it is who he is. You cannot get that in a candidate if they don't have it. And I just want to second it just to say those things about Doug Stern. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Do I have to raise my hand? Yes, if you don't mind. We'll, then the order will go Mayor Rilling. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I also uh, want to second, third, or fourth the nomination of uh, Judge Stern. He's a man of compassion. He's a man of intelligence. And I've seen him in the hallways of City Hall. You know, it's very difficult when you're a probate judge because you deal with people at different levels of emotion. You have to be empathetic. You have to understand what they're going through. You have to be patient. You have to listen and you have to render wise decisions and help people navigate through the system. Uh, you know, oftentimes they're dealing with the death of a loved one. Oftentimes they're dealing with an estate or they're dealing with an adoption or they're dealing with some other thing that's highly emotional for many people. A, a point in their lives that uh, they've not experienced in the past. And Doug is that person who shows compassion. He is a highly uh, intelligent person who knows how to make people feel uh, that he, he's doing their job and he's helping them and making them feel uh, like they, they, that they're getting this job that they, they, that they expect. So he's just doing a wonderful job. And as Ron said, we've picked the right person for this position. Thank you, Mayor. I'm sorry, who was the person that was trying to? Hi, I'm, I'm Allison Mark. Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, not be called upon with the hand raising. I just didn't see it down on my phone, I'm out. But I have to tell you, I used to be in public relations and that testimonial the previous man gave was so heartfelt and so profound that I wish he could speak to everybody and let them know what a great person 
Doug Stern is because I was just so moved by it. I was almost in tears. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you, Allison. We do have it recorded and I will send it to Doug. <laughs> um, Hi. Kath Kate? Yeah, I, I, I want to say that anyone who can at the drop of a hat sing the hippopotamus song with me has got to be good for almost anything. <laughs> Thank you for that. None of you know the hippopotamus song about mud, mud, glorious mud, but Doug knows it. It looks like Elsa might know it too. <laughs> Elsa probably knows it too. But anyway, we have sung it at railway stations together. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Thank you for adding that. Are there any other comments, seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths? <laughs> um, oh, okay. Um, well, I will call for other nominations at this moment. Are there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Any no other nominations? Hearing none, I move the nomination for the 51st probate district be closed and I make a motion to vote for vote by acclamation for one unanimous ballot for our nominee, Doug, Judge Doug Stern. Second. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, hearing none, uh, that motion passes and we have ourselves a nominee. And congrats. Good turn. Oh, my goodness. Well, How are you? <laughs> well, it's. Uh, it's really wonderful um, to uh, to see everyone. Um, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I um, I'm not sure what I was precisely expecting, but I wasn't exactly expecting that, and it feels really great. My my heart is very warm right now. Um, thank you so much, Jen and Tom and and Eloisa. Uh, I got to see many of your faces uh, on Saturday in Hartford. Um, I hope you've all thought out. Um, and uh, I was very happy to spend time uh, with my friends in, uh, in both Wilton and in Norwalk. And I'm, I'm very proud of, of what Norwalk and Wilton um, have been able to accomplish. Um, I'm very proud of Stephanie. Uh, we have a real voice in the state and we're being listened to. And I think um, everyone uh, on the line right now has a whole lot to be proud of and, and should feel a sense of responsibility about where we are. I'm just uh, so happy to see so many people here today. Um, it's an honor to do this. It, it really, really is. Um, it's, 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 and I won't be able to describe it in any way correctly today, but um, it really is special, the work that we get to do. And, um, and my staff that I've almost entirely inherited that's all still there, um, I really rely on so much, uh, Diane, Libby, Steph, Matt, Kathy, Andre, Maria, Sharon. They really do all the work and they're so uh, um, invested in Norwalk and Wilton um, and are caring and compassionate people and uh, any success that the court uh, or any reputation that the court has is in a very real way uh, because of them. Um, my job's really special. Uh, uh, well, all of our jobs in politics are special. Um, legislators and other town officials, they have an identical honor to me, but, but their task in large part is, is different. And the choices that they make are to sort of help people in a broad sense for a greater good. Um, I write no laws. I, uh, I control no meaningful budgets. Uh, my duties are restricted by statute and my responsibilities are to the citizens of Norwalk and Wilton as they individually uh, require the services of our court. Um, and there's a lot of, and there's a lot that the district requires. Uh, it's a large district. It's wonderfully diverse uh, trusts and estates and conservatorships and children's matters and special needs, the elderly, commitments at Norwalk Hospital, Medicaid, elder care in general, elder abuse is a specific issue. Um, the list goes on. Uh, lives are long and our children and our elderly will always be vulnerable and in need of our protection. Um, and that will never change no matter who is, no matter who's judged. So 
So I'm very thankful to all of you for trusting me with this responsibility. You, you didn't have to, but you did, and you did again. Um, politics is funny. You, you, you learn a lot about yourself through your experience with other people. Um, and I just feel so lucky to have had such a rich and human experience in my professional life that I, that I take seriously and that I'm, I'm benefiting from every day. And, and through this experience, I, I understand things like patience and compassion, and empathy and loss and closure and suffering. I, I understand all of these things differently now because of what I've done the last few years. And, and, and you all are, are responsible for that. So I feel very lucky and very thankful. And I promise to learn. I promise to continue to improve. And I just wanted to write by you guys. So um, thank you so much. Uh, I don't have anything else to say. I'm so happy that you guys uh, came in after so many uh, other conventions that you've been a part of. But um, you're the best. You, you really are. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. I think we should unmute and clap. <laughs> Let's do that. Everybody unmute. We'll give it a yeah. good round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> I like that idea. We had some signs. Oh thank you so much, Doug. Oh, well, um, thank you. Well, I, I look forward, Doug, to seeing the your, your humongous lawn sign uh, as you campaign. That Doug, yes, Doug is known yet. in Wilton for having the single largest sign, which he pulls out. <laughs> yeah. He said it's going to be bigger this year. Oh. How is that possible? <laughs> You'll see. You'll all see. Okay, well, Doug, now I live closer to a train station, so I may actually come out with you early one morning. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. Okay. <laughs> I live really close, so it's, it works out. Um, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion to adjourn. Okay, okay. all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Congratulations, Congratulations, Doug. Congratulations, Thank you so much.